We have Jennifer here today. From Furlong Candies. Yes, she's wearing Hercules candy hat. <laughs> <laughs> I love my home. Yeah. <laughs> when, when, in, when in East Syracuse, do is the Herculean stew. But uh, Jennifer, tell us uh, what you're all about. Um, I wanted to come up here and learn a little bit from you guys. My kitchen at uh, the store I work at is under construction right now. So I can't really do any work there. So it's a perfect you time to come much. visit. Did you commute it? Please let me make candy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I sent Terry an email and said, can I come up and spend a day with you guys? And she said, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Very hard to get along. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. And then uh, Dad's gonna teach her how t how we uh, you know put the corn syrup in the pepper kettle. But you you've done it before with your bare hands too, right? Yes. Tried it. Not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> so now you got the expert here. Yeah, because yeah. you said you were doing it before with a ladle until you saw our videos and you're like, all right, yeah. I want to do it with my hands too. And like Max was saying, it's just really fun yeah. <laughs> to do it with your hands. <laughs> I have a co-op student assistant who I've been trying to teach her how to do it and she's struggling with it. Yeah. So go on YouTube, watch them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the trick is just cold water. So I say I weigh the kettle and then it's going to be... 10 pounds is 21 to 31. So we'll just dip it into cold water. Now how much does your kettle weigh? I've got a few different ones that we use. They're this all one's, different well, it says it's 21. I don't know if it's exactly right, but <laughs> it should be close. We've got a 19 pound, 24 pound, don't know how much the really big one is. I don't think we've ever tried to weigh it. Oh, yeah. And then we got a little tiny 14 pound one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's neat. We got two of these. I thought there's a, like a pound or two pounds difference for some reason. Maybe because I'm one's older than the other. That's possible. You want to try doing that? Sure. So, now you just need your fingertips or you need your whole hand? Uh, well, let me get one more and then I'll let's see. I don't really realize. I just get. I just pull it and. I don't know. I put my fingers right in there. Fingertips. Yeah, it looks like it's all the way up to like your palm. Yeah. See, I don't think I moved fast enough. <laughs> go, go a little slower. Oh, that was good. That was oh, good going though. too fast? Yeah. Is that my problem? Going a little too fast is ah. that you're throwing it around. Yeah. Actually, almost, you know, yeah, a little just bit watch, I'll just do it slow. I mean, I'm just doing it. You just, see, I'm not really, you don't have to go too fast. Yeah. Because, there, we can try that. Mm -hmm. It's almost ready. So. All right. You know what else I taught myself how to do? Huh. The twist with chocolate. Oh, really? Yeah, I taught myself how to yeah. do that. <laughs> so, no, we don't do it on the table. We do it, uh, we have tempering machines. Oh, there you go. Yeah, see so, how it works on Yeah, it's so a little bit on my fingertips. Get, I know when you learn and stuff, you kind of panic. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So you, my nails are really long right now. It's probably yeah. getting stuck on that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you do it like, I'm gonna try that just for the sake of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, that's about it. That's how many pounds in there? That's 10 pounds. You know, we do a much smaller batch. Oh yeah? Yeah, we do, um, I think ours is three. How much? Three. Oh, three. All oh, three yeah. pounds of the corn syrup? Mm -hmm. Yeah, three oh. and three. sugar is in it? 14 pounds. Okay. Here, you want to grab that side? Sure. We'll go over to the stove. Mm -hmm. Swing this thing on and off and keep by myself. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> get a good stance, grab and swing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get the water. So you tell everybody we got the lights off because we can't have a construction still. Yeah, yeah. Was, uh, they turn part of the electricity off, which runs through like two thirds of or yeah. three quarters of in here. <laughs> so we're making candy in the dark. This is my old, old my grandfather's uh, thermometer, basically. 
used it all, all these years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a couple. Not as old as that one. Um, <laughs> we do have two that are like that, and then we got a digital one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's a pro. Whoops, I should have uh, screwed this up first. Let's see. Got talking, I didn't realize what I was doing. <laughs> Yeah, we got the digital probe one, which is fantastic, especially for doing something that um, can just sit on the stove and we yeah. can go off and do something else. Yeah, that's what we're going to try a, and get one. Yeah, we've got a big, uh, yeah. uh, big digital display. Can yeah. read it from the other side of the kitchen. Does it just clip on the side then? Or? Mm -hmm. oh, it's really nice because uh, we, we have it mounted on the wall. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, so then you can just put it in? Yeah. Oh, neat. Probing, have it plugged in. Yeah, Paul from uh, Buffalo, he, he has one. He keeps telling me to get one. Yeah, that's fantastic. Now that it's boiling, we're going to add the... Uh, these are, uh, I think it's eight, eight pounds of peanuts. And we do it when it starts to boil because they're raw peanuts. Mm -hmm. If you put cooked peanuts in your brittle, you should probably only put them in the last five minutes. I would, I would think. I've never done it, but. And do you guys use raw peanuts too? Then? We do. Yeah. Um, it's pretty much the same, but we don't do ours by temperature. So we're. Um, you said you stop it at a certain temperature. We uh, just watch for the color. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Once the color fun. changes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. Sure. I guess you can do it that much. Sure. Why mm -hmm. not? And you were saying, you, was it uh, brittle or is it another candy that you, you just do by time, not temperature? Uh, the brittle, uh, we do completely by time. We don't okay. use the thermometer. So we bring it to a boil, we give it two to three minutes, uh, add the peanuts, and then we stand there and we stir it the whole mm -hmm. time. And we um, lower the heat about halfway through, mm -hmm. and then we uh, watch it. And then it's usually about 15 minutes or so, and then we take it off. Yeah, after it gets, well, I take it off about 290. Yeah. And so right about there, the color does change. So that must be, that's what you see. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, so it's kind of cool to see the candy makers just do it differently. Yeah. And that was, that was probably like the way that uh, the first guy, he learned yeah. how to well, do it, right? like with my like, chocolate, I do it all by hand. That's the way I learned. Mm -hmm. You know, most people don't do that apparently, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we hmm. have tempering machines where it basically does the work for us. Yeah. Uh, and it's really great when we have those if we're doing a lot at a time yeah. because we don't have to stop and temper more, just yeah. keep going. Hmm. Uh, the thing is when you do it by hand, you got to get the cuddle so it's uh, 100 or in the, in the high 90s. That way when you do put it on the tape, it only takes a minute or so. Yeah. You gotta pay attention to that. Yeah. <laughs> you do it by hand. Yeah. <laughs> Ours has thermometers and heaters and does all the work for yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> We've got three of them, milk, white, and dark. Um, the little ones or the? Oh uh, yeah, they're only about this big. Yeah, so. yeah. that's great. Okay. Now we'll just stir this once in a while. We stir ours continuously. Do you? Yeah. We also do a much smaller batch. Yeah. <laughs> and you get 260, I take the top off usually. And do you guys just do peanut brittle, or do you? We do other? just do peanut. Um, we want to start doing cashew. We've had a lot of requests for it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a matter of where we do ours by time, figuring out that timing yeah. of when to add the cashews compared yeah. to when do we add the peanuts. Well, like I said, I do it at two seventy. So you probably, probably takes about after I add it about fifteen. To 20 minutes, somewhere around there. So I guess you could kind of do that, you know. Try it anyways. Okay. Ounce and a half of salt. Split ours up. Our salt, we split into two. We put some in at the beginning and then. Um, oh, yeah? Yeah. And then some at this 
the way they did it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's so many things that are done that way. Yeah. Like, why do you do that way? Because that's how I was taught to do it. Yeah. Steve's a questioner. He questions things. Yeah. He changed the things they used to do. You find an easier way to do it? Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> Mostly time saving. Yeah. yeah. It's so easier. Yeah, I guess it makes it tough because you don't know why they did it. So you're like, well, I don't know if there is a reason or if that's just that's just how they did it. Yeah. <laughs> In a different way, it doesn't go right. Yeah. You go back to what you were doing. Right, yeah. yeah. They're the only ones that fit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the only ones that fit. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, if you want extra large canvas built, all you gotta do is say so. Or did you already say so and they ignored it? Uh, can I have extra large uh, canvas gloves? Sure, Joe, whatever you want. Two X if you got them. I think I looked, oh no, you know what? I was looking for the nitrate gloves. Right. right. I don't think I looked for them. This batch seems extra fluffy. <laughs> fluffy? <laughs> Ours is more of a is more what? Ours more 50-50 syrup peanuts. Oh yeah. So oh, okay. ours does not foam as much. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Like after we putting the We also do a soda. large smaller batch. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. What's like one of your more popular items there? Uh, assorted creams, candy canes of the holidays, um, our cherries and our fudge. Hmm. People love our fudge. Yeah, people have been asking us to make fudge. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Really, we sell enough of it that um, it doesn't sit firm. Very long. Yeah. I just heard about the big one. Yes, that was showing yeah. up like. Yeah. Nine batches of budget. Uh -huh. Each batch is about 40 pounds. Uh -huh. Yeah, were, yes. they were. They right. just, did they say that? <laughs> they just tried to. I remember them when they were down there making the game. Yeah, I can do it barehanded. Like, Uncle Nick once said just, something that struck me real funny. He said, A little pain will never hurt you. <laughs> 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 how do you know it's pain? <laughs> yeah, they always tried to you, right. outdo each other all the time. Oh, really? one, one, who can hold out doing the hook? Because they used to do 33 pound batches. Yeah. And do you scissors or do you not scissors? Right do you think they just did 33 pound batches just to, you know, be like, yeah, I did 33 pound batch? No, that's the way they their, <laughs> their father did it. And, and when you think about yeah. it, like, your grandpa was a little fella. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, did he throw it on the hook too? Yep. Yeah. Maybe that's why they had like such long uh, breaks in between each batch. Yeah, but there's so many of them that could take turns. Yeah, they yeah. all took turns. Yeah, they, they did. Look at you, look at you, look at you, look at you, we take turns. Yeah. Now how big are your batches? 15 pounds. Okay. But I guess we can get on the batch roller. Well, that's right, you have a batch roller. You're <laughs> fancy. Yeah, wow. Yeah. I have a batch roller, his name's Steve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It keeps it round, but the rest of it's all human work. Yeah, I wish I had a 1911 batch roller. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't even take one from the 1900s because that's more used. <laughs> and when we were cleaning out, uh, getting ready for construction, I found some old stuff and now I want to play with it. Yeah, <laughs> it's bad. You gotta clean it up. Right.
So you said with your brittle, you don't really stretch it that much? Not as much as you guys. You guys can get it like really, really no, stretched do you, out. Do you do it like on a marble slab and then transfer it like uh, this? We or? do it on our uh, water table, the water okay. table. And do you stretch it right there or do you transfer it? Uh, we do stretch it right there. Okay. You guys just stretch it like a little bit then? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think it's because ours is, has less syrup. Mm -hmm. I brought some of ours. Um, yeah, your, is your ratio syrup. is two it's, to one. Yeah. Or no, no, one to one. Almost, yeah. I thought you said like 10, 10 sugar, 10 corn syrup. Is that what you showed uh, me? We do three sugar, three corn syrup, and then it's, I think, four and a half pounds of peanuts. Okay. So mm. once it boils down and everything, it's almost 50-50. Right. So this I here, think yours, just in general, stretch is better than ours. Well, this, I think, is, Steve, how many pounds of sugar? It's um, 14 pounds of sugar, 10 pounds of corn syrup. Yeah, so that's a... Different ratio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of candy is uh, made 50-50, uh, you know, one to two or what do you call it? You know, 10 pounds of or corn one syrup to, one? to 20 pounds of right. sugar. Yeah. So it's always usually just the temperature determines what kind of candy you're going to make a lot, of, a lot of times. Okay, this is good. Right. Yep. Basically, all we do is we just stretch it just a little bit and then flip it. All right. You guys do your edges first, right? Yeah. Yep. yeah. We're just going to stretch a little tiny bit and then, and then flip. So yeah, just do the edges first. Now you guys can like grab onto yours. Ours yeah. sets up a little quicker. Mm -hmm. So we can't like really grab it, grab it. To pull it, we just have to like go like this. You feel it stick into the counter, just kind of yeah. like. Loosen it before it's mm -hmm. too late. Yeah, ours is definitely yeah, more peanuts. I think it holds more heat because it's bigger, so then you have more time to stretch it. Yeah, whereas it's such a small batch. Right, yeah. Plus, if it's on a water cooled table, it's going to be. Do you have, are you cooling it, actively cooling it? Um, peanut brittle, no. We don't actually actively cool it. Okay. Um, we do for butter crunch, candy canes. Now you got me thinking of what else we cool it for. There's a couple other things. Yeah, really stretch it. Yours mm -hmm. doesn't stretch that much. Yeah, yeah, she's a shredder. <laughs> That's what they call me. Well, not only that, because you know. Once you gotta break it up later. I'm so cut, I'm shredded. <laughs> That's really why they call me that. Yeah, she so do have to break it up to put it in the case. Yeah. Yeah. So Max is threatening to enrobe some of this today. So you've decided that uh, usually one batch gets enrobed and then the rest just stay bare? Yeah, but it kind of becomes standard. We're making like, a, we're doing usually six or seven batches at a time. Mm -hmm. And then we'll, one of those will get enrobed for sure. Because that, seems to work, that cycle seems to work out pretty well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure if we enrobed a second one, we could sell <laughs> it just as well. But that seems to be what we're up to. And folks have been asking for cashew chocolate covered in. I bought a label for it. Mm -hmm. I haven't actually gotten to enrobing it yet because we sell out of it bare before we yeah. have a chance to <laughs> chocolate right cover it. Yeah. So yeah. We just have to make that one more batch like we do with the peanut. Yeah. And then maybe we'll be lucky enough someday to have chocolate covered cashew brittle because there's a guy named Joe. Joe, if you're watching, I still have your note on my desk with a phone number. <laughs> I haven't forgotten about you. <laughs> Don't give up. Me. No, <laughs> no, you're in my phone. Right. Not on a post-it note. Okay. And you want the extra large canvas gloves or two extra jackets. Yeah. In cashew brittle. In cashew brittle. <laughs> Chocolate color. Yes. I'm going to need a bigger post-it note. <laughs> Jeez, a little. 
thinks he can have everything because he's the youngest. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, so some pretzel nuggets for that mac and so Oh, there's three. Did I say there was three? Okay, it's still well, stretching. Might as well keep going. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> just like basically one of these sheets. Yeah, <laughs> actually probably only about that much. We're gonna cut it up. Make a much smaller batch than you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Steve, she brought some ground almonds that are already grown and everything. So I'm going to give her some whole almonds. Grind or whatever you want to do. No, we do almond pearls. How do we do almond pearls? Bar. Okay. So I was going to ask if, if you make all the brittle, you raw or cold press or um, Yeah, right now the only brittle we make is, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I think the next so biggest, the, the, the next biggest nut that we've been asked about is pecan brittle. Yeah. And I could see us um, investigating that in the summer. No, well, that's a soft a, nut too, so that's probably like the cashew, I would think. But yeah, yeah, I mean, all we, we can just go it. on the World Wide Web and uh, <laughs> watch other people's videos. See what temperature uh, those folks are adding their pecans at and yeah. go from there. Yeah. But I think that would be a fun summer experiment since we have our fancy temperature controlled building. Yeah, yeah, you guys can experiment. Like, should I mention the 4th of July thing that I was thinking about? What were you thinking about? I think I told you about it and you're like, oh, maybe. Yeah. Um, that was so it, whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, like a like a hard candy that's red, white, and blue, um, different flavors like maybe blue red. Oh right, like, uh, I don't know. Okay, kind of like Lofty Pursuits does. Yeah, he does a red, white, and blue one and a strawberry shortcake. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I was I was thinking like a red one, a blue one, and a white one. Something oh, like separate. I mean, one. but you know, you guys are the candy so makers. This three is just an idea. Flavors <laughs> mixed together. Yeah. Is what you're saying. Okay. Just so a like thought. A, an Americana type of thing. Yeah. Because, like, if we made it before 4th of July, could we sell it? Or do we have to wait until the 4th of July? Because mm. you know we're closing on the 4th of July, right? Oh, are we? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 What's the problem? <laughs> this, this, uh, no, Joe tasted a cream, and Joe, what would you like to tell us about what you tried? Uh, it was very, I, I can't remember what it had a fruity flavor, like a, um... I think it might have been pineapple one. Yeah, I don't remember well, what duh, I put in the back of the first uh, tropical. Yeah. yeah, you were going to get there. So yeah, it's really Mango, good. Yeah, pineapple. not overpowering, very yeah. well balanced. Yeah, very good. Mm. And then you said that fudge is pani panici? Panucci. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, we have chocolate fudge and then we have panucci, which doesn't have chocolate in it. It has brown sugar instead. Uh, and that was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, and I brought just the plain because I didn't know how you guys felt about walnuts. Uh, but we do sell both yeah. with walnuts in it. And because kind of we're under construction right now, I'm like crying because we're sold out right now of chocolate walnut and I can't make it. Oh, <laughs> we're sorry for your loss. I feel your pain. Yeah, we sure do. <laughs> when, when you're under construction and you can't okay, make I'm stuff. Okay, I'm crashed. going in. Somebody, Somebody crashed, going crashed going in. In. No, you said these are flavors? Yeah, those are cream mints. Um, and despite the name, there is no cream in them. Oh, oh. Sweet. <laughs> there is no dairy in them at all. It is sugar, confectioner's sugar, water, and then flavoring. <laughs> and what flavors do we have? Uh, the white are peppermint. Okay. The pink are wintergreen. Mm -hmm. Lemon and lime. Okay. Uh, kind of self-explanatory. And right. then these darker ones um, that are more of a red, mm -hmm. those are cinnamon. Mm. Um, okay. We only sell cinnamon from right after Thanksgiving through Valentine's Day. I'm going for the lime. Yeah, I kind of went for the lemon. If I can reach it. From mm. beginning of October through Holy Thanksgiving. Holy melt in your mouth, Batman. Mm -hmm. We sell orange. Oh, yeah. Very lemony. Orange? Orange flavor. We do orange for the fall, oh, wow. cinnamon, yeah. red for Christmas and Valentine's. Yummy. And, and this people is. People beg for them year round, too. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I've got too much other stuff <laughs> to do. I know. Believe me, I know. <laughs> and is this also made with like the cornstarch press that you guys have? No, these we actually use a silicone mold that's hmm. separate from our cornstarch. Okay. Uh, and then a couple other things. I might as well try a lemon one too. Mm. My the lemon is the good. Lemon. I'm not a big fan of the mint ones, the peppermint and the wintergreen. Yeah, wintergreen. I love the lemon and lime though. Wintergreen does nothing for me. Yeah. And the rest of our peanut butter, you guys can see that. Since I knew that's what we'd be making with you guys. Mm. 
Can I see the bottom? Yeah. So, so we've got a little bit beat up in transport. Let's see if I can get this <laughs> one. So, we just break it into little pieces, pack it up in half pound boxes. You know, we don't do this during the summer because our building is not humidity controlled. Hmm. We're we so excited to be able to do this in the summer. I mean, because yeah. we moved in here in September. We have people ask for it in July and I'm like, mm-hmm. Can't make totally. it. Totally. Mm -hmm. Can't make it just yet. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, and then we do a bunch of different turtles. So I brought some of those with me. And we do make our own caramel Those are super um, for the turtles. So we do darkened milk chocolate. For all of them, we do cashew, pecan, and almond. What's kind of interesting is when we make them, um, we get about. Joe ten. looks willing. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, he has an unwell pan. Yeah. This they make one, a fabulous meal for breakfast. Yeah, this one, I don't know, that doesn't. Look like it might pass quality control. It might not pass yeah. much, yeah. but you probably ought to just, you know, get just rid save of everybody. Hmm. You are. We do quality control check quite often. <laughs> Such a giver. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, kind of funny is Blue I don't know if it's just because um, the pecans and the cashews are softer not compared to the almonds um, and they're easier to bite into maybe I, I feel, feel like we sell twice as much cashew and pecan than we do almond I feel like cashew is an underappreciated nut I've said that before but there, it doesn't get as much business as other as other nuts yeah. and it's a fantastic nut All right. really? some people are going to be like no it's a fruit okay it's a fruit or whatever it is it's <laughs> and if they no, disagree with you yeah, they can it's cash you outside that's right <laughs> cash, you, cash me outside how about that I was actually in my local grocery store the other day and I just stopped at the nut shelf for a second I'm like they've got cashew butter crunch that nice. is nice yes it is yes. Grocery no. store? Just our local grocery store. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can find some pretty neat ideas in your local grocery store. Yeah. Like I, came up, I, I was cruising the ice cream aisle back in the day, and that's when it's like Hagen Dazs, or somebody had rum raisin ice cream. Like, hey, that'd make a pretty good cream flavor. Mm -hmm. That was like 20 My years ago. Grandfather lives off of rum raisin ice cream. It's yeah. his <laughs> <laughs> We sell ice cream at the store. We sell Richardson's ice cream. They're based mm. in Middleton, Massachusetts. Uh, and we get the half gallons, and we also get the three gallon tubs that we yeah. start to scoop out of. Mm -hmm. I get him three half gallon containers every few weeks during the summer. He has a problem, you can't <laughs> quit anytime you want, huh? Yeah. <laughs> These things yeah. happen. It's his favorite mm -hmm. by far. Now give him what he wants. Yeah. And I brought some trains with us. Excuse me. Now, what are these? These are our patties. Now, our Rover, um, we actually can mark our stuff. So this one's peppermint, and you can tell by the pink leaking out of this one because it got a little smashed in transport. Hmm. Uh, that one's wintergreen. Yep. So wintergreen is always pink. It's like the rule of law. What do you think, Ted? Is. is that wintergreen or what is it? Strawberry or raspberry? Strawberry. Or strawberry? It's not as creamy as I usually get. Hmm. Uh, the way ours is set up is we have a bottomer and then a short belt and then it goes under the coater and then we have a little section where we can hand mark all of our different creams with a different mark. Oh, okay. Because do you use a tool for that or does the machine do it? We do, do use a tool for that because they're all different shapes. Mm -hmm. so. Well that is neat. Hmm. How like neat is that? That one's vanilla, lemon, that one's lime. We actually enrobe uh, pieces of our fudge and panucci which is what these two are. Hmm. Now that extends the shelf life, right? Covering them in chocolate? Yeah, it does a little bit. And then I'm actually going to grab a glove so I can move some of these for you because there's a second layer over there. Chocolate covered fudge. Is there anything better? <laughs> How do you make something better? Chocolate covered chocolate. chocolate. Yep. You can hmm. fix any problem in the world with duct tape or chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> or Windex. Or Windex. Windex helps too. <laughs> but that's only if you're Greek. I am not. I am Italian. <laughs> Well, I guess mom can't use it. I can't. Well, I'm married to a Greek. That, can't, that works, right? I don't know. I you have to consult the rule book. Okay. I'll just watch that movie again. Yeah. Right. There's the second layer. <laughs> so, we have peppermint, wintergreen, raspberry, orange, coffee, and maple. And then these two are both ice cream drops. Hmm. We do both our ice cream drops in both dark and milk. What's an ice cream drop? Um, it's 
kind of like your chocolate drops, basically. The okay. Same thing. So, so vanilla it's vanilla cream with chocolate outside. Okay. But you call it an ice cream drop just because of the shape, or? Yeah, and because we sell vanilla. So this is our vanilla. That's our ice cream. Okay. And it's basically same thing, different shape. Yeah. yeah. People come in and ask me like, "What's the difference?" I'm like, it's, uh, "Both shape. vanilla, but yeah. it's one's an old-fashioned style press." Yeah. Well, just like when people want to know what's the difference between clusters and bark. Shape. Shape. <laughs> <laughs> and labor. Like we do chocolate covered potato chips and those cost more than the, the potato chip bark just That's because of all the labor. Yeah. Because bread, bread's sitting there dipping each chip and he's not doing it for free. Hmm. <laughs> not charity work. Yeah. Whereas Steve is making the potato chip bark for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>